Hi, I'm George, and we'll be using the guided edit to take this image here and improve the contrast brightness settings and end up with this much better image here. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos. And also, if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and start this project. I'm going to delete these first two layers up here. We don't need those. Get rid of that one and then get rid of that one. And we'll start off with just the background layer here. Now to make this work easy and to get additional flexibility, I recommend starting off by making a copy of your background layer. Just duplicate layer and choose OK. When you do this, then Photoshop Elements automatically gives you another layer that has the adjustments on it. If you don't do this one step here, it will then do the adjustments right on your background layer and you'll lose some flexibility. So make sure you make this copy of your layer first. Then we'll go up here to Guided. This is your Guided Edit section. And we're looking at the Basics section right here. At the bottom, you'll see your photo bin. There's your photo. And then over here, right-hand corner, we're looking at this one, the Lighten and Darken option right there. It's real fast, easy to do, but there is a way to do this to get the best results. So just click on that. And here we go. There is the original. Now the way you do this, is you go over here and click on Auto Fix first. And that puts in just the basic adjustments. Now, if you want to make any fine tuning at this point, you can do that right down here with these sliders. What I recommend doing is to move the midtones back and forth a little bit first. Let's go ahead and go to the left a little bit and then let go of the slider or you won't see the change in there. And I'm thinking a little bit to the left here looks a little bit better, kind of lightens up the midtones just a bit, maybe. You don't want to go too blocky on this. So just a little bit to the left. Now, shadows will lighten your shadows, and I don't want that, so leave that clear to the left. And then highlights darkens down the highlight. So it gets too bright, you can just back it off just a little bit. Sometimes that helps as well. Just tone down those brights just a little bit. Okay, once you're happy with this, come down and click on Next. Now we can come in and use the expert tools to take this even further if you want to. So we'll look at that in just a second. So I'll click on Next. At this point then, you can save this or do a Save As or go to Expert, and that's what I recommend Click on In Expert, takes over here to the Expert Mode. And here we go. Because we made that copy of the background right here, that gave us the guided layer all by itself. I can then compare my two very easily like that. And we can also then adjust this layer and still have these to go back to in case you want to try it again. So we have those as a safety. Now, the best way to adjust this, next thing I would do is to do a lightness control. Go up here to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and Levels, that's my personal favorite. Where it says use previous layer right there, just check that, choose OK, and here we go. This is the levels of the image in here. There's your midtone, these are your darks, this is your lights. Notice that the darks are a little bit away from where the darks come into the picture. That's what I wanted to fix here. We couldn't get that with the auto adjustment, but a little bit of a touch up here. Just move this in so that this pointer is coming in where the darks begin to rise right there, and that brings back the darks. And there we go. I think that's a great looking picture. Now notice that this comes in as its own layer up here, which is really nice. That's why I like using the adjustment layers up here, layer and adjustment layer, because I can always come back here, double click on the icon, it brings back up this control, and you can then adjust later if you want to. Now all we have left to do is to save this. Now because we have layers, it's going to automatically save as a Photoshop Elements file. So File, Save. You see right down here, it's a Photoshop file. That's the same format that Photoshop Elements uses. Just go ahead and click on Save, and that saves that file. Now, if you want to have this as a JPEG for use wherever a JPEG is used, then just do a Save As. File, come down to Save As, and then change this here to JPEG, and then choose Save. You can set your controls in here. I normally leave my JPEGs always all the way to the top here, the maximum setting, and choose OK, and that's our JPEG file. Notice that we're still looking at our Photoshop file inside of Photoshop Elements here, so I can still go back and do more adjustments if I want to. But there you go. That's how you can use the Lighten and Darken Guided Edit to very quickly and easily do a real nice job on bringing back some punch to your images if you didn't happen to have that in the original. If the original was a little washed out, this is a great way to bring back those values. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and make sure you check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. Again, that's the best way to learn how to use this program. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.